can select the window that has been opened and click on the security button and it will show me uh, which role security role and which task contain this particular window so in this case the customer maintenance window is contained in the AR clerk or the bookkeeper or the operation manager so those of you who are administrating the security of roles will uh, will be able to figure out that okay this is the role that user needs permission to or yeah, okay but it. but I'm not a believer in what you're saying of course I'm seeing it here on the screen but I'm I don't believe too much are you telling me that as an end user if I have a problem security profiler will pop up tell me exactly what the problem is yeah and now you are able to see this from your right. desktop Okay. 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 You really are making it fun for me. I'm you? making it fun to you. Okay. So okay. if you're an end user and you don't know anything about security or rules, so from the profiler window, what you'll do is you'll click the export button. Okay. And that will export whatever windows you've opened, whatever tasks you've carried out, and you'll save it as a normal XML file, and then you'll send it to your administrator. Your okay. administrator will come in here, do an import. And whatever steps you carried out, whichever windows you were trying to open, instead of him guessing and you trying to explain to him, yep. you'll be able to see that. I've seen that. I've seen users trying to explain to administrators what they were doing. And that is fun. <laughs> that, that, that can turn into a fun conversation. Yeah. Yes. Okay, awesome. So, going back here to a security profiler. Actually, I, I have a question about security profiler. Yes. Actually, is there any way let's say for political or just I don't want to deal with the reasons, I don't have certain people I don't want to real to know that this group has access to this versus that group? Okay, that's a good point. Um, and one of the things one of the things that you need to keep in mind is the security profiler is a silent application. It only sits there waiting for something to happen from the security event perspective, right? Now, all the user has is access to the profiler window, the one that popped up earlier, this one right here, showing uh, what the problem is. Yeah, give me one second. No, okay. no worries. And uh, as a user, what I would do is I would click the export button and send off that event to you. I don't have access. I don't have access to click security here because security is an administrative feature. So to your point, if I don't have access to that security window, which is part of the issue I think you're describing, I would not be able to see that security tree that Jim uh, just showed me. Totally address my concern. Thank you. Okay. Fantastic. So now, I'll get your tin time in a bit. <laughs> so, so now, the other thing is, you exported that, right? The administrator came and imported into his environment that particular event that occurred at the workstation level, okay? So now as an administrator, I can come and see what the problem is in my security information window, which is different from my security profiler window, okay? Security profiler captures the event, security information displays the event, displays the tree, and say, okay, well, um, I see that in order for you to have access to this window, you either need to be a member of the power user group, you need to have either the default user role, or you need to be able to access the card 0201 security task through any of these associated roles, accounting manager, accounting clerk, book, bookkeeper, operations manager. Now, how am I getting access to that window right now? Well, I can see that I belong to the power user group up here, okay? Because I'm a power user, meaning I have access to just about everything, then the tree doesn't expand anymore. But the tree also tells me at the system level, you need to have at least access to any of these three options uh, or four options through any of these uh, security roles, okay? So, by the way, you might be asking, what is the little green uh, dot means versus the red dots? The red dots are the ones you don't have access to. The green dots are the ones you have access to. Yes, Mom? Yes, just quickly. Um, if they did not have access to the customer maintenance window and it did not populate and it says they do not have security, would you get this same window saying where they, what role they needed to be in? That's a very good question. The security profiler actually captures 
events whether you have access to the window or not, okay? So if you don't have access to that window, when you open Security Profiler as an end user, which is typically the problem we face, right? If we have access to the window, who cares about the profiler, right? But if we don't, Security Profiler is gonna capture that particular event, it's gonna show me a stop sign across our, the window icon that says, I don't have access to this window, yet it's gonna be able to tell me what window I don't have access to. And the roles that contain it? Just now, as an, because uh, to address the, uh, uh, to tie in your question to the gentleman's previous question, right? Because I'm an end user now, I don't have access to uh, the security information window that you see in here, okay? Right. And I would. But you as an administrator do, so yeah. when you export, when the user exports the, um, the file and <laughs> send it to you and you import their file, now all in a sudden it pops up on your window and then you can grant them access. And it's pretty simple. All I gotta do now is I'll uh, double click on the account, the role that I wanna give them access to, and boom, point to the task, I'm good to go. Thank you so much. Okay? So that's, those are some very good questions. Um, but I think security, pro and the reason why you brought this one up is because I think security profiler and security information are some of the most misunderstood components in, uh, in support debugging tool. Users, security profilers. Administrators, security information. And it sounds like Leslie is getting a call from David right now. <laughs> How's Mariana doing? Yeah, that's part of the call, the question. All right. Sorry. Um, by the way, uh, as soon as you keep bringing up more windows, so for example, if I have a list of um, of all the windows here that I wanna bring up, let's say view item receipt, those will be piling up in your uh, security profiler. So this can get chatty as well if you keep it running. So one of the recommended options is to just have it follow and look for events that actually happen, not necessarily have it open all the time, which is a way of you can configure it. You can configure it to only uh, show any error that comes up related to security. It doesn't have to be capturing and logging just about everything, okay? Which is the purpose of it, by the way. So I have a question. Yeah, but you're not getting tin tongues. No, I'm I don't just want <laughs> Yes, ma'am. We'll take your tin we'll from lunch. Mm -hmm. um, so I have a, a group of users in our organization that they need to be able to, to report on who has access to what 